Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Visual Studio 2019 on Windows 10. So we will be installing Visual Studio Community Edition. Let's download it first. At first, go to the browser. We are using Chrome. You can use any browser. Click on the browser. Open it. Now here in type Visual Studio. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible visualstudio.microsoft.com. Click on it. So, Visual Studio is owned by Microsoft as you can see here. Now, go below. On the left, you can see Visual Studio is visible. Download Visual Studio, click on it. On keeping the cursor, you can see three versions are visible Community, Professional, and Enterprise. So, we need to download the Community version. Click on it. Now the download should begin. On the left bottom, you can see the exe installer downloaded. Now double click or click on the arrow. Now open. Let's minimize this. Now here is the installer, click on continue. Guys, now you can see Herein we have workloads that is what we need to install. So we will be running a C-Sharp console application project. So for that we need to click on .NET desktop development. Click on it. Here it is written. It will build a console application also. Click on it. On clicking on the right you can see with that the optional packages will also get installed packages and tools. You can see the just in time debugger dotnet code development tools dotnet framework blend and other tools keep the default and you can see here it will take around 5.15 gb so do you want to install while downloading yes keep the default and now click on install here now the downloading and installation will start here it is here you can see you need to wait for some time. So guys, now we have successfully downloaded Visual Studio and it has been installed. So to open it, go to start. Type Visual Studio. Here it is 2019 Visual Studio. Click on it to open. Now the Visual Studio dialog box is visible. You can sign in from here or you can just click on not now, maybe later. So I'll click the same. So here you can select the theme. And here is the development settings. Click on it. For C Sharp, you can select journal or Visual C Sharp. Both will work. So I'll select journal and you can here and you can select the theme here. Let's keep the same and click on start Visual Studio. Now here you can click on continue without code. From here we will create a new C Sharp console application. For that go to file and let's create a new project go to new here we will click on project now for c sharp console application here let's search for console application dotnet framework here it is console app dotnet framework now click on next Add the name of the project. Let's give the name Amit Console App. 
so here in the location for repository is visible keep the same or you can change from here by clicking browse rest keep the same framework it's fine 4.7.2 now click on create so you can see our program.cs file gets created this is the default code let us understand this first here you can see using system this is basically what which adds namespace in the program namespace what is a namespace it is used to declare a namespace amit console app in this case this namespace amit console app is having our program class what is class program this is basically a class which is declared as name program now static void main main method it is the first method that gets executed basically you can consider the entry point of a c sharp program is this main method now let's print something we will print something using console dot write line so basically this is a console class as you can see on keeping the cursor this is for standard input output and error streams right line is basically a method that is the standard output stream so whatever you will add in this method will get printed let's add something first c sharp program first c sharp program here it is now we will go to file save all now let's run it to run any c sharp console application click on start here or you can also press the key f5 let's click on start the build has been started so guys what you can see here the program has no issues it has been built successfully but the output is not visible why because we haven't added console dot read key here it is now let's run it again go to start or you can also press f5 now it will build first and our output would be visible here it is first shisha program the same output is visible here so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install video studio 2019 we also saw how we can create a new project we created a console application and we also saw how we can run our first project on video studio 2019 so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it, do subscribe to our channel Amit Thinks.